Are you tired of designing PCBs with your two-dimensional monitor? Exhausted from the overhead involved in simply traversing layers? Introducing Newboard, new a new way board. to look at printed circuit boards. Newboard is a PCB review tool that creates an interactive three-dimensional environment, allowing for better intuition about the board and faster review times. To use Newboard, open up your favorite PCB design application. KiCad. Here, we are opening a project file that someone on our team has created. We're presented with the front layer of the board first, but we can also toggle the visibility of the back layer using the layer management interface. This is a pretty simple PCB design, but let's use Newport to check it out in virtual reality, or VR for short. In our current build of KiCad, there's a new button denoted by a robot wearing a VR headset. Clicking this button opens up our VR application that allows us to view our current board in VR. Right now, all sorts of stuff is happening under the hood. We'll get into all this later. Hello, welcome to Newboard. Right now, I'm really just standing in front of a green screen. For now, let's move my physical body to this corner. I have a headset on that can be seen here, and my hands can be represented by the controllers here. As my head moves, so does the floating headset. Each of the controllers in my hands can be visualized here. I can also walk around the room and be tracked in real time as well. I can see a big open space, but the room I'm standing in is still the same size. To navigate around the VR environment, I can point to the location while holding the trigger on my left controller. When I release this button, I'll be moved to the location of the blue capsule. I can change the direction I face after I teleport by using the left touchpad. Hovering above the left controller is our menu interface. We designed our menu interface as a set of panels that we can scroll through with the use of our left touchpad. Although many of the features on the menu have not yet been implemented in the VR view, their icons will be familiar to anyone who has used KiCad. Now let's get the board that we loaded up from before. Notice how there are two layers to this board, the front layer and the back layer. Each layer is connected by vias. Our control schema was largely inspired by other state-of-the-art VR applications, which have very natural and intuitive controls. To pan the board, we group each of our controllers tightly on the sides. This engages our ability to move the board like this, both left to right and up and down. Using the same controls and only changing the motion of our hands, we are able to rotate the board. One thing to notice is how the board will rotate from the midpoint of the controllers. This is intended to give the user the feel that they are actually holding the board in their hand. To enlarge the board, we can continue holding down our controllers and pull our arms apart. With a few motions, we can make the board really big, which is especially useful for fine details on a complicated board design. With the press of a button, I can toggle the grid view. A semi-transparent overlay appears in line with the board, matching the grid in the 2D editor. This makes it easy to see the alignment of different parts of the board. Another key feature in any PCB design tool is to highlight a specific net or signal. Let's say we wanted to highlight this net. We first take off our headset, go to KiCad, and highlight a net on the KiCad interface. Now let's place our headset back on and we will see the highlighted net in our VR space. Being able to highlight a net in real time is extremely useful for debugging and reviews. Highlighting our nets in VR gives a completely new view on our PC board design. Let's close this and launch a more complicated design. This is a microcontroller entirely designed with KiCad. This board has many layers, making it perfect for us to show you our Z scaling feature in new board. Let's change our zoom scaling mode to Z scale by clicking this button. This allows us to use our controllers to pull apart the layers. Here is what a highlighted net for this complicated design would look like. Another very promising direction this project is going in is collaborative editing. What I mean by this is multiple engineers in the same VR environment working on the same board. Now more than ever, we're seeing the need for collaborative hands-on yet remote design. 